Hey, it's Andrea Gerbel here with hashtag social school for EDU back with a little tip Tuesday on community events and whether you should be posting those on your school Facebook page or school Instagram account, Twitter account, things like that. Um, many times this comes up with schools uh, because there's a lot of content to share from your school district but you don't necessarily share everything going on in your community um, I think it's really important to think about rules and kind of um, normal operating procedures with what you will or will not share on your social media channels it makes it much easier for you as the social media account manager to know what you can or cannot say yes to. Um, if it's anything involving the school, obviously you're going to um, promote it. But sometimes your school and your your community kind of get intermixed. Uh, for example, like a Big Brothers Big Sisters program or a kinship program, um, they may have events and they want you because you have a lot of followers on your you know, social media channels for the school, they may want you to share those on your social channels. You have to be careful because um, in some instances they're raising money, uh, maybe for you know an organization, um, you know, something that's not necessarily related to the school. Um, sometimes it could even be a for-profit type of um, event where it's not really a fundraiser, but it's for profit. And so those are some of the things that you should think about on behalf of your school before you start sharing those things out is what are our rules? Um, do we share or do we not share? Um, some schools even have programs where they actually get paid to help promote some of those things. Um, through apps and, and things like that. And so you have to keep those in mind. Um, many of our smaller school districts, like the community is the school district. And so um, I know in my little district of New Auburn, where my girls go to school, 300 kids K-12, that's super small, right? So if there's something going on at the park, um, a community event, a community um, uh, summer event, we help promote that. Uh, but in some of our bigger districts, we don't because we'd be sharing those things all the time. And then it's like, why do you share that? You don't share this. Um, so just kind of my tip today is just talk about do we want to be able to promote those things or don't we? And if we do, do we have any kind of criteria around it? If it's involving our students, maybe we share it. If it's not involving our students and not benefiting any of our students in any way, even if it's an outside organization, maybe we don't post it. And so um, no hard and fast rules, but I think it's just an important conversation to have before it creates an issue. So I hope this tip helps. Thanks for telling all the stories. Tune in next time. We're always here to help you with everything related to social media in your school. Have a great day.